So we've been together for, we like to say we've been evolving for about four years. Uh, but as this formation, we've been together for about, about one year, 18 months. Che joined us last January of 2016. That's the latest edition, Caribbean vibes coming in. But we had a, we had a, you know, a few different uh, formations. We had a percussionist, a, uh, a different saxophonist, another um, singer. We've been through a few different formations, but is this Sound Citizens about since the beginning of last year? Well, the band name, we had a, we had a bunch of names actually before the time, during our formation side. So we used to go as the Revolution Sound System for a while, and then we thought there was like a pretty it's like a, the name of a kind of bad raggy band kind of thing <laughs> and we're like dude you need to come up with a name and then we start like you know brainstorming names and in the end each one of us have a different background come from a different country so like citizens from all over and the end of the day what unites us is music and the sound itself so we're the sound citizens Hmm. That was pretty good. Like right. Bruno, yeah, Bruno yeah, one. Yeah, one or one. I'm from the UK, from London. Initially, initially I'm from Planet Earth, but I was from Antigua. So. <laughs> initially, we have to be specific. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm from Brazil, where the shit's really real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the UK, London. From Antigua, it's like a little island in the Caribbean. I don't know if you know it, but <laughs> <laughs> what influenced us? What I have to say is probably our different backgrounds. Really. You know what I'm saying? Like we all come from different places. We all have different tastes, and like we all like fit that in together in the band, and just like for the general purpose, it just works. You know what I'm saying? Um, I kind of compare it to like Pepper Pot. You just put a whole bunch of things together, and it just tastes so good in the end. Real good. Real good. Everybody's scoring one point. I think we should change yeah. my name. Let's change my name. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we have a stylist, actually. Yeah, man. Hold on. Larissa is our stylist. She's kind of amazing, and she gets all of her inspiration from from our music, really, and from what we call the Swank Universe, which is this, you know, pepper pot of uh, characters and situations and places and fictional things that we come up with and and take you know live in our songs uh, well the, Sw the swank universe is a place where um, um, that is kind of in our minds and in our shows and in our lyrics and in our um, notes and it's um, basically swank it was swank was we couldn't really define the kind of music that we play because we're such a you know big diverse group and we play all kinds of genres so so we came up with swunk which was swing and funk um but it's kind of everything else in between you know the biggest challenge for us as a band has been getting off this island um because we obviously we love this island don't get me wrong we love playing around but we kind of like the biggest thing was to try to get off it and try to play elsewhere show that world spread the swunk around the world but we did we did um last year Went to the UK, London, done a few gigs around there, uh, Oxfordshire, Norfolk. We went to yeah, Sicily, we managed to go Vegas. to Vegas. Yeah. So, but it was the biggest challenge because obviously we were building everything here and then we felt ready to kind of get it out into the world there. So I would say that would be the biggest challenge. And surviving, because obviously financially it's very hard to survive when you're moving from the road. It'll be just about. <laughs> yeah, music full time. Uh, and if we have any other pursuits, well, me personally, this is what I've been wanting to do for a while. But like, what do you guys <laughs> Well, I mean, I consider myself like a visual music artist because that's the both things I've been doing my whole life. I've been playing music and I have an art design studio in Brazil as well that remix music and artworks and create soundtracks for that and paint over soundtracks. With me, it's been pretty much music full, full time since I was nine. Um, but I kind of, before I came to Antigua, I had a studio set up home so I was producing back home. Um, that was good and then obviously I brought that into these little projects here. Yeah, play me, <laughs> pretty much play music um, full time. 
do, always doing always doing other stuff this that and the other but this is where yeah we managed to live off this pretty much during the season and two anyway like we said you go to London it's a different story in that yeah, way. <laughs> but um yeah I've got a I mean I write a lot of um about it's music for me it's music you know I write music it's uh, I write acoustic a lot of acoustic material as well for myself I write for the band yeah man um to travel move around see what I want in the world wow yes music is exactly <laughs> what we do and that's all I do at the moment however I also like to cook I was a chef for a long time and I'd like to consider myself a music video editor as well um, yeah. I think so I think we can do that I think we're <laughs> nearly there but, but yeah, nearly there but no music is, is, is what we, we that's where we earn our living from fundamentally right now and it's great I just want to say hi to my mom and to the people down back home, you know, I miss them all and it's a pleasure to be here in Iron Fire Studio, uh, we are the sound citizens because we're like citizens that live in the sound kind of thing, so you know, sound citizens and and yeah, we're looking forward to smoking that jam. Don't listen to a word he says, he's crazy man. It's crazy, I'm telling you.